Welcome to Date Night. I'm Will, your friendly neighborhood game mom, a.k.a. your GM. And I'm Amy, and I play Kira. I'm married to Will. And I'm Will's nephew. I'm Sam, and I play the Grease Wizard. I'm Eva. I'm married to Sam, and I play Aaron, the half work barbarian. I'm Mike. I'm the fifth wheel, and I play Darren Hammerstone. And we play Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons. So last time you guys walked around Albagula, you found a number of different things, including a spell squirrel, which you are sharing in your party. So I've put together a sheet <laughs> for, for the spell squirrel. I've buffed it a little bit since we talked about it. So the yes. spell squirrel can actually store three levels of spells inside it. So it can store up to three spells if they're all level one, or it could store a level one and a level two, or just a level three. And anybody can cast a spell into it, and anybody can use it. So it's a way that you can share your spells with each other, too. And I've got a little spot here where you can keep track of what spells are actually Yay. stored oh, in the squirrel. So cute. Do we, do we just time. say, I want to use the spell squirrel? Or, like, is there something... So it says in there... You, you can must take a, chitter erratically. Yeah, if you want to fill it up, you cast a spell into an acorn, and it eats the acorn, and it stores that spell. If you want to use Aww. it... You can t- use a bonus action to call the squirrel over to you, and it will run up onto your shoulder, and then you can use your action to cast the spell that's inside. Cool. Yes. Okay, so you Where guys... Where you go, Sam? What do we name the squirrel? Bucky. I don't know. It was two hours coming up with Thunderhorn, so... <laughs> Bucky. That's a really good name for the squirrel. That's a really good name for the squirrel. I Bucky. like it. Bucky. It's my father's Bucky. name, actually. Where did we get Bucky. this spell squirrel from again? A merchant. A merchant. About 45 minutes of haggling, I think, is where you got it from. <laughs> uh, you guys keep that. That's for the party keeps the spell squirrel. All right, we'll put it in the center. Because we all share the spell. No, you don't share the spell squirrel. It's ours. Yeah, you guys were getting ready to go to sleep. You had checked on the egg and took it out of uh, Kalman, who's a little shy when he opens up to uh, give you guys a view of the egg. But I earned his trust, finally. Yeah, Dern and Kira were able to see the little pocket dimension that uh, sort of winked in and out of existence from inside Kalman uh, when he uh, brought the egg back out. Um, Sam, you were talking about that you wanted to try to feed uh, Clippy again mm-hmm. before bed, and then you guys were going to sort of sleep. Oh, you had one more day. about Clippy. <laughs> yes, Clippy was the... Uh, I'm married to the DM. I did not creature. forget him. And before I go to sleep, uh, I, we, I think we should discuss what spells the squirrel should get. Not Clippy. <laughs> not Clippy? Not no. Clippy. Okay. It might not be a bad time to fill up the squirrel since yeah. you're going to get it. I don't have any magic so i can't <laughs> that's true um shatter that's probably a good option i can just imagine trying to put their spells into an acorn <laughs> like like i just thunder smite and bring it straight <laughs> down on the acorn <laughs> how about shatter and grease that's a second level and a first level but what if we can't find an acorn where's the pink basket with I've the got, big bag of dice i've got two acorns right over here do you really I mean, we're on a giant turtle. We should be able to find tons of acorns. Yeah, exactly. Did the squirrel come with two free acorns? Like double A batteries. Yeah, the squirrel, it comes with a little pack. It's really hard to open of mm-hmm. just three really dinky acorns. You feel them, and they feel like they're hollow. Oh, okay. Like those off-brand batteries you get with your remotes. All right, is Shada and gr- Grease good for you? No, Plus? no one wants a greasy squirrel. <laughs> Grease has been very <laughs> helpful, I think. But, all right, what's your idea? Genius? One of Kip's favorite moves. <laughs> <laughs> what's your idea? I mean, I don't have any spells, so... All right, how about you, Paladin? I, I pretty much stick to the Thunder Smite, but we could also put in the Cure Wounds. That's probably not a bad idea. Maybe, right. a, maybe a wee bit better utility than Grease. All right, is that first level? It can uh, be. It can sure. be. Sure. It goes up in healing the higher level it is. I right. know. I know my D and D rules. So there we go. Here you go. I'll cast Shatter, and I accidentally cast it on the party. <laughs> I'm just teasing. No, I was just joking. Everybody. Roll. Very funny. No, I was just. Te- it was just a teasy joke. Okay. It was just a teasy joke. Joke. That was. 
Okay. Like, ha-ha, I shattered you. You know how, okay, how so I Okay, so you that. cast Shatter into one of the acorns. Mm-hmm. All right, so you could take that off, second level spell. Um, what happens when you cast it is the acorn actually does shatter into about a million pieces, and then... Darn it, I did it Good wrong. job, lad. You freaking broke it already. <laughs> it, it sort of with this uh, ethereal... Uh, spectral magic, it gets sucked all back together, and the squirrel consumes it immediately, voraciously, and looks very happy. All right, good job. What spell level? It was the second level. So you can see now his tail is uh, sort of flitting back and forth really excitedly, and he's got all this kind of rainbow spectrum of uh, light shooting out of the back of him. Rainbow spell squirrel. Hold on. (laughs) Okay. We'll come up with a name for you later. Bucky. What's wrong with Spell Squirrel? Or... <laughs> <laughs> He's happy. All right. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll pick up the other acorn and just cure wounds right into it. Okay. So you, <laughs> one acorn shattered across the ground. The next one just absorbs the light energy of your cure wounds into it. It grows the, into a tree. The squirrel eats that one. And the squirrel eats the tree. And uh-huh. starts glowing like a bright white and then just kind of lays down contentedly. Mm. Good job. Is it dead? <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> Is Calvin's like, pocket still open? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. He closed it before you turned around. Well, so I've uh, got to feed my little buddy, so if everyone wants to turn around it's I do. Alright, go ahead. I'll turn around too, because that's just disgusting. I'm gonna go into the kitchen. You have a kitchen? And the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I pull out a knife. Slice my hand open. Why your hand? I feel like that would hurt. All right, I the slice most. open my foot. You would you rather have that? <laughs> he limps for three days now because of your suggestion. That's not. I never suggested slice open I your foot. Roll up, Cliffy. Yeah, when you cut yourself, roll a d4. Stupid idiot. It's a two. <laughs> All right, your uh, max health was already down too, wasn't mm-hmm. it? So it still is. Okay. That replaces the old one. That seems to go away every day around dusk. That reduction in temporary hit points. Okay. Um, so you feed it a little bit of blood and it just kind of soaks it up. It doesn't really make a noise or anything. Can you roll a arcana check? 19. 19? Okay. And you have sort of tried to get a loophole that the gak is made out of cornstarch. You've been trying to add one oh, over there. Yeah. I, I don't know about that. But either way, 19 or 20. So that's a 20. Yeah. <laughs> 19. Um, <laughs> I heard 20. <laughs> the, you get the idea that he's going to just stay in kind of this in-between state until you, um, <coughs> until you perform a more difficult uh, ritual. Great. Don't now we have to sacrifice a goat. I strip down <laughs> naked, <laughs> and I try it again. Don't. I, and I start dancing. And oh, 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 and I slice up my hand and I try it again. Does that work? I'm completely naked, though. Roll another arcana check. Roll a naked check. Uh, that's a 19. Okay. He's counting the gak point in there. I though. am counting the gak. <laughs> so 18 <laughs> plus one. Um, it doesn't make any visible change, but you have some sort of feeling inside that you think the dance is important, but you sort of. Uh, are recalling your time with Crinkle Fire Touch and kind of the montage that you had in your training. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he seen, he mentioned something in passing, and it was a book called The Six Humors of the Homunculus. And you think you're going to have to track down that book if you want to get all the details of this uh, expanded ritual that you're going to need to do. I Is anybody... my bag. Is anybody else disturbed for the fact that he thinks <laughs> he the crinkle fire touch when he dances naked? <laughs> so he, I mean, we're all turned around. How do you know that he's naked? I'm just going off of what I hear over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be using me in character voice. <laughs> so you get the idea that to learn the full extent of the ritual, um, you're probably going to want to track that book down. Can I call Crinkle on my little my little device? 
Uh, you used it the day before, so the corn had wilted when you used it on the little button, but it's looking fresh again, so it looks like you could probably use it. Yeah, I'll call them up. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, hello? Hello. Um, it's me. Is this going to be a daily thing now? I don't know. I just figured out I that I had thought, this. I just thought the button would give you confidence. I didn't think you'd always have to call me with it, you know? Well, Push the babies out of the nest and they're supposed to fly. They're not supposed to come back and go, hey, mom, spit some more stuff into my mouth. All right, but mom, I can come <laughs> back and I can ask you questions sometimes when I have questions about life, All right, right? fine. I got a little stuff to spare. What do you need? All right, I need that book. Hey, you remember that book you were talking about? We, uh, six, we talked a lot, a lot six of Six homunculi's or six trials of the... Uh, six among oh the children's book. I don't know, maybe about the six homunculi. The one he builds his house out of sticks, and another one builds it out of clay. No, 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 no. There's no, no. one who builds it out of lima beans. That is, one is this Full <laughs> Metal <laughs> Alchemist? Wait, what are the other three? What are the other three? The other three? Uh, you might be ringing a bell. Oh, there's one. Uh, it's made out of bricks. There's another one made out of pine cones, and one's just a pretend house. Mm. <laughs> that might be it. Imagination. Um, no, it's the. Six, I can't remember the name. It's the six trials of the homunculus. Oh, oh, you're talking about the six humors of the homunculus. Whatever, yes, that one. Yeah, you you laughed when I told you you thought it was like a funny paper or something. Sounded funny, yeah. yeah it's not. It's a really uh, in-depth ritual. It ta- yeah, Let me tell you, it takes a lot out of you. I'll do it. Is All right. You have it with you? I have a book, but the problem is I read it 53 years ago. That's fine. And you know how books work. Uh huh. Yeah. So it won't do you any good for another 47 years. Um, well, I'll take it anyway. Let's try it out. Um, all right. Well, next time you're in town, you, you can pick it up. <laughs> Just send it over to me via. Mm, fax it. Yeah. Fa- can you fax it over to me? Uh, no, I don't feel like I know my how fox books isn't... work. What was that? Yeah. I said, no, I don't feel like I know how books work. <laughs> Can you, hey, you made a little portal before. You think you can portal it to me? I'm over here. Um, I'm sending you my location now. And I tap on the... Uh, I could hear that. That's loud. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm on the, like the big on turtle. <laughs> um, Please don't. I don't, have a, I don't really have a way to get it to you. You're going to have to uh, come back and see me if you want it. But I'm telling you, it's not going to do you any good. It won't teach you the spell for another 47 years. Uh, You're going to have to find another copy. Where do I get another copy then? Um, You could probably find it in a decent arcane library, sometimes in a chest in the bottom of the ocean inside of a dungeon. That's usually where you find those kind of things. Yeah. (laughs) eBay. (laughs) The dwarf gets it. All right. (laughs) I guess thanks for nothing. Yep. Bye. Bye. No, you hang love up. You. <laughs> I love you. Are you still there? I'm still. I, I love you. Hey, how do I turn this thing off? Um, how do you turn your own invention off? Oh crap! All right, I That's guess you're here with us forever now. I forgot the off button. All right. Well, goodbye. And you hang up. up. <laughs> no, you <laughs> hang up. Now they have some sort of like <laughs> Raylo connection. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was useless. Well, maybe not. Don't we still have another day left to hang out before the games? You do. There's another day. So is there anything else you want to go to sleep? Or anything else you want to do before you go to sleep? (laughs) Nothing I can think of, no. What level spell did you cast? It was a one. Okay. Can we stack spell levels? It can only have three total spell levels in it. So like if you cast a level four spell on the squirrel, a little bit sticks out of its mouth, and yeah, that's it won't work. Okay, so it's full then. Yeah, it's full. Okay, never mind. I was confused. Okay, so you I guys... cuddle up next to my yak, my gak. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When did we guys buy a yak? <laughs> we have a squirrel. Uh, it came with the bag of holding. And clippy now. Right. This Wait, is getting out of control. Plus, you have the dragon snail. egg. This is, turning into, this is turning into Sam's creepy menagerie over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, all you guys uh, drift off to sleep. We had described this place as having two bedrooms and sort of a shared living area with a kitchenette. 
So I was assuming Dern and... Um, so it's everyone in one room and Sam in the other. <laughs> <laughs> I was assuming Dern and the Grease Wizard were in one bedroom and Aaron and Kiro were in the other. Just, uh, you know, Three's Company propriety. Uh, and Kalman doesn't sleep, so he would just be sort of wandering the living area playing with his snail. Um, <laughs> is that sort of what you had in mind? Sure. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely Except not the in the same room as Rooming with the him. Grease Wizard thing. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> so after about an hour, after you go to sleep, you all wake up with a start and yeah. find... Lad, get off me. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds more like, well, I don't get off me because you're entirely submerged in water. Yeah. <laughs> a quick look around reveals that the bedroom that you're in, uh, both of them, are entirely full of water. Uh, you can see the door to the outside to the hallway is closed. Um, you can see the windows are shut. Uh, Kira and Aaron, you can see the dragon egg floating near the ceiling in your bedroom. The grease wizard and Dern, you can just see darkness outside of your window. And through the open door into the living area, Kalman is just walking calmly toward your door. Uh, despite the fact that he, too, is submerged in the water, he's just kind of skipping along, uh, guided by the glow of his moon sword that he's using like a torch. Are we drowning right now? Yeah. I'm uh, swimming up much. to the surface. So I know you guys... <laughs> How did the room get full of water before we woke up? <laughs> I know you guys haven't played these characters much lately, and we haven't played D&D in over a month. But just uh, let me clarify the situation. Your characters are used to breathing air. And right now, <laughs> they, right now they can't. I'm gonna be flipping over a timer back here. You don't have to worry try about not me. to drown. I cast alter self. Wait, and is I get the whole room breathing. flooded? Yes. Welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> the timer is going. What do you do? I Swim up to the surface. Alter self. And There's I turn no into surface. A... We're inside. But why you is the egg s- floating near the ceiling? It's bumping up against the ceiling. The water does go all the way to the ceiling. Oh. But it's trying to be buoyant. And never mind. I'm not yeah. explaining physics Floating. while we're drowning. Uh, I turn into a, the the water breathing creature. Okay, you cast alter self. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Um, does the rest that of require us. a verbal component? I don't know. To cast, Can you, we pause you the need timer to check while that out. Up the okay. spell. Can I, I'm gonna borrow your book. <laughs> yeah, what sure. are you guys doing while he's seeing if he can cast alter self? Frank, Swimming towards the door. Trying to open the front door. I'm gonna. Okay. I have pretty good athletics, so I think I can probably swim pretty fast. So I'm going to grab the dragon egg first, and then um, there's a there's a window, right? Yes. Can I open the window? Okay, so you it's grab dark. the dragon egg, head toward the window. The window, uh, make a strength check, or an athletics will be good. That'll be better. Uh, um, sorry, just a second. That we don't have. <laughs> Uh, it's ten. Okay, you can't get it at it's least with... It's either ten or six. No, yeah. sorry, ten or twelve. You get to add your strength and your proficiency if you're proficient okay, then it's in 12. athletics. It okay. doesn't look like there's a, a vocal component. No V in the components. Oh, is that what it would be? Yeah. Is, is, does the outside look like it's still dry or is it, are we walking, underwater? You're oh. looking out the window? Yeah. Make a perception check. It does say V. Okay, so you're going to be unable to cast that while you're underwater. I got a two. <laughs> a two? It's really dark outside because right. it's night. I'm going to try that as well. Look out can the I? window. Mm-hmm. You can make a perception check. That's a 19 plus. Uh, you can see out with your dark vision probably about... 20 feet out the window, and it looks like there are some things swimming around outside the window. Can we open? No, that's good, because then we can swim outside and swim up. When you tried the window with your athletics check and one hand holding the dragon egg, you were not able to open the I window. I thought she was trying to open yeah, the door. Can I? No, I was opening the window. Can and you can also, I? you don't have any of your gear on right now, so if you get any <laughs> bonuses from that, you're basically in your pajamas right now. Can I hand off the egg to Kira and try again? Can we okay. open the front door? While she's doing that, can I try the front door? Yes. Oh, that's worse. That's not going to okay. do it. The front door, do um, it opens just fine, kind of slowly but through the still water, water. But there's water on the other side, okay. too. Uh, s- since Is there anybody visible? I can get us out the window. Okay. Okay. Um, scroll of Paul Wall on the window. Okay. 
and then I guess swim out and try to swim up. Yeah, what was that again? I create like a normal sized doorway that goes something like I can't remember how many feet. Th- okay, thicker than a window. Gotcha. So you just pull out the scroll. May I just say, nice. <laughs> and um, that opens up something. Where are you doing that in on, your room? Like on the window. Okay. The window to the outside. So in your bedroom now, you have a door sized opening out into the water. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, so Kira... Wait, I forgot my accent. Aaron, um, <laughs> make perception checks. I have a feeling we both... Nope, we, we, we don't uh, know. You guys don't know That's that there's four. been any door made in another room. I thought we were Can I try all in the same room. No, you're I in a different bedroom. I thought we all bedroom. went into the same room. Can I try Thunderhorn underwater? Sound carries well underwater. Yes, you can try the Thunderhorn. <laughs> yeah, you guys hear uh, an odd <laughs> rumble from the Grease Wizard in Dern's room, and it's louder than the usual rumbles you hear from that room. <laughs> <laughs> so that might give you a hint that they're signaling you. It might just be to wake you up, but it might be to send you some sort of signal. I'm going to go check out the sound. Yeah. Okay. As you do... You see um, Dern sort of standing near a big portal to the outside of the inn. And what are you doing, Grease Wizard? Just uh, make sure I have all my things and start swimming. (laughs) You're going to try to get all your things? At least Clippy and my... Well, you had Clippy. He's on a jar around your neck. Oh, yeah, he's on my jar. Um, I want the brush. I want to make sure I have the... Well, I guess that's my channeling thing now, so I would probably have that. Okay. Um, Anybody grab anything else before you go? I'd like to my grab sausages. my stuff. How much stuff? My bag, at least. Like maybe my armor probably wouldn't be a good idea, but at least my bag. Okay. So there's a chance <clears throat> that like whatever the rumble was was them getting attacked. So I think Arn would probably grab her politer smiter before she swam into the other room. Okay. Got it slung on your back. Grabbed a sword and my bag. And okay. My, my hammer. Okay. So you all heading out. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Once right. I see there's an opening there, I'm going to push off Once the wall. Once you guys get back out, can you all make another perception check for me? 19. 13. Uh, 17. 11. All right. Um, Aaron and Grease Wizard, as you guys get out and you start swimming, wh- which way are you heading first? Up. up. Heading up? Okay. As you do that, you see sort of back above the top of the inn, this dark figure drift off of the roof and sort of expand out and start making a beeline for you. I don't know what you want me to do about that, but okay. Where's Kalman? He's walked out the door, and he's sort of just floating up toward the top like a big beach ball. Swimming up. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. Can I unscrew my jar upside down and pull out Clippy and talk into it and cast Alter Self? Because there's that little pocket of air that'll be in that jar. Roll an intelligence check to see if you uh, figure out how to do that in this current situation. (laughs) (laughs) And then a dexterity check. That would have been a heck of a... Five, six, seven. It's intelligence, just straight up intelligence. Eight. Okay. Clippy is pretty well full in the jar, so, like, you try to open it, and you just sort of get a mouthful of Clippy clay. (laughs) (laughs) I I spit it back in and turn the jar. All right. And now there's some seawater in there. The the figure that drifted off of the roof has charged uh, into the back of uh, Kira, and it makes an attack with its tentacles at you. That's a 15. Uh, Your AC right now is 10 plus your dexterity modifier because you guys did not sleep in your armor. You don't know that. (laughs) Aaron, yours is 10 plus your dex. Yours doesn't change because you're a barbarian. Does 15 hit? Yes, it hits. Okay. Um, You take 11 damage and you are currently grappled by this giant octopus. Ugh, gug, 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 I need me some spinach. Arr. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's I think we finally found your accent. No. How did you know I'm <laughs> afraid <laughs> of octopus? 
octopuses. Octopi. Octopi. I think it's octopuses. Cephalopods. Pretty sure it's octopi. It's octopi Pretty or sure cephalopods. It's octopuses. Pretty sure it's octopi. I'm fairly certain it's octopuses. Google check. Mike's looking. <laughs> All right, let's roll initiative. Is it octopus or octopi? 18. Octopuses. Meow. Uh, six. Ten. You get to add your initiative if you didn't. Still six. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, what's your doctor's? Oh, snap. Three. It's octopuses. Oh, sixteen. Go! Uh, Kira. What was yours, Grease Wizard? Eighteen. Okay, Grease Wizard, you're up. You see this because you saw the octopus before it had the surprise round. It snuck up behind you guys as you're swimming to the top, grabbed Kira, and pulled her back toward it. Um, I cast a chromatic orb at it with lightning. Does that have a verbal component? Lightning under the gra- under the water? Please under don't. the sea? Hey, please don't. Hey, it's going to hurt. Please don't. <laughs> That's going to hurt me. Under the sea. That's going to hurt all of us. That's what it's, it's better. better. Take it from me. Lightning. Hashtag not sponsored by Disney or The Little Mermaid. Uh, please don't sue us. Hold on, Little Mermaid going? was my favorite movie. As Is a the timer girl. still going? Mm-hmm. I'm oh. pretty sure as poorly as we're singing this, it can uh, be considered okay. transformative well, in nature. You won't Sam. die when the timer runs up, but that's when we'll start tracking how many turns you have until you're dead. <laughs> the, well, Sam, the rest of us are waiting on you because we are I doing know. initiative. I don't know if my Can you at least pause verbal? it while he looks What is it, spell? chromatic or oh, orb? <laughs> the joy of turn-based <laughs> combat. That's not fair. Um, I wouldn't just be standing is. by. Okay. Uh, I'll postpone my turn. Okay. You can do that. Kira, uh, you can use your action if you wish to try to make a grapple escape, or you can try and make an attack while you're grappled. I'm cutting the darn tentacle off. Okay. That would be an attack then. Uh, 13? 13 hits. This is with a short sword? Yes. Okay. 13 hits. 10. You take a slash against this thing's tentacle, Mm -hmm. but it's pulling you with multiple ones at this point after it's grappled you. So you do manage to slice really deep into one of them, and it rears it back, but you are still grappled. Um, The octopus is next. It's going to try and bite you as it's pulling you in. Uh, That's in 18. I used to like cephalopods. And it deals 13 damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you also take two poison damage, and your intelligence is temporarily decreased by four points as you are starting to have a bad trip. Okay, I think I would prefer a bad trip than being here. Can I get up to this thing, like, with my movement? Um, This is already a bad trip. not very far behind you, so you could probably make it. You can move about half of your speed underwater. Is, uh, I know it bit her. Is is she, like, in the thing's mouth? It's grabbed her with multiple tentacles, pulled it toward its beak, and it's starting to chomp down on her, trying to eat her. Okay. Um... I want to swim up to the thing, put my fist through its mouth, and pull the pin on a grenade. Okay. <laughs> um, you have just a grenade? Make a, I'm under the, I have two. I'm under the water. I'm not screwing around. Just make a dexterity check to see if you can jam it in there. Dwarves hate being under the water. Uh, eight. Uh, what if I as- use my turn and assist him and use magic mage hand? To be able to magic mage hand, magic, magic mage, 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 mage. I don't think hand. you really know exactly what he's up to. If I roll a perception check, you can do that. Nope. Uh, <laughs> seven, nine. No. Hey, look, that's Dern. There's Dern. He's swimming at the octopus. Um, huh, you get weird. next to the octopus, and you can get the grenade near it, but you're not. Here is blocking its mouth from you to kind of be able to get it. Okay, can I put the grenade beh- on the other side of the octopus then? Like, and just kind of push it away? Yeah. Okay. Like, put the octopus between, between us. you and the grenade. And, yeah. And are you, um, I guess, pulling the pin on the grenade or just throwing yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going to go full Hellboy on this one. 
All right. Um, go ahead and roll 4d6. Do you need some? I got one. Three. Six. Three. Six. So, 18. 18. All right. So, this shockwave does 21 points of uh, damage as sort of this fragmentation grenade goes off Death beside charge. the octopus. Yeah, and it just... You can hear it in the water kind of rocket. The octopus is going to make a concentration check to see if it stays grappled on to Kira, and it fails and lets Kira go. Grenades! Sorry. All right. Um, did you want to jump in now, Grease Wizard, with your turn? or I can't do anything. Okay. Can I clarify so, who's holding the dragon egg? All of your spells have a verbal component? Mm-hmm. Uh, Kira was last. I thought I was going to be useless under the I water. I don't think I am at this point. Oh, I do uh, have a question. If you were trying to hang on to it with one hand by while being grappled and making an attack, you can roll a dex check to see if you still have it. Nope. Okay. Um, what... So, for the Beastmaster's navel ring, will that adapt, or is it the same scale underwater, or? Do uh, you, you don't, you've never tried it underwater. Eh, what the heck. I'll, um. <laughs> but at least the egg floats, I'll so use that. Okay. It'll be up for my at turn. the top. All right. So, roll the, what is it, a D, whatever, it's for eight. the table, a D8. That's a 10. That's an 8. That's a D10. Oh, man. That's a five. All right, what is that on the list? A giant weasel. All right, you've got a giant weasel swimming beside you now. Great. All right. Aaron, They're well known for their aquatic combat. It's your turn, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to start swinging wildly, which is my favorite move, at okay. the octo- octopus te- tentacles. I just okay. had visions of, like, kids in a pool with one of the pool noodles just waving <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that's what Aaron is doing. But with the politer smiter, and it is set to kill. Ooh. Okay. Um, so you swim up to this thing just as the grenade goes off and Kira gets let go, and there's a weasel charging at it. <laughs> 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 and you swing. You'll be at disadvantage with any attack that, is, that it isn't a weapon that can do piercing. So. Wait, yeah. I have javelins, okay. but not with me. Okay, well, you have to roll twice and take okay, the lower seven, roll. Okay, 16. Okay. Um, no, so, 13. Plus. 13 hits. Yes. So, go ahead and roll your damage for your Politer Smiter. Uh, this is a d12, right? Yes. yes. Um, that is... It's, it says 1d12 plus strength. Is that plus my strength? Plus my proficiency or just plus my strength? Just the for the damage, just the strength. Chance to hit, you get your proficiency. Twelve. Okay. You slice a big gash in the side of this octopus and you see it bleeding pretty freely. Kalman is kind of far away. Uh, he's heading up toward the top. He sees all this going on and he starts swimming back down toward you guys as best he can, but he's kind of buoyant. Uh, Grease Wizard, it's your turn. Is there any right. way I can signal to him? Can I like try and point him to like go get the egg? Like, go get air. It. Oh, the dragon egg. Yeah. Um, Since we've established that it floats. Make a uh, performance <laughs> check, I okay. guess. And I'll roll an intelligence check. Aaron in interpretively dances that she uh, needs. That's eleven. Okay, so you just kind of <laughs> doing like a disco, but. Kalman's got a 20 on his intelligence check. <laughs> so he's like, oh, of course, the egg. And he starts swimming <laughs> over to try and get the egg. Okay, <laughs> Grease Wizard. Well, I, ma- I obviously mounted the, the, weasel. the weasel. Yeah, I right. assumed. I have, a, <laughs> I have you on top of the weasel. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. So you get the weasel's underwater movement now. All right, attack. Okay. So you're charging like with it? the weasel, <laughs> and what are you attacking the with? face. <laughs> You're attacking with your face. Part You're of the biting face. the octopus. I am. The weasel can do whatever it wants. You're. <laughs> <laughs> You're attacking the octopus with your face. Don't you have a dagger? <laughs> so roll, roll an unarmed attack. Uh, so you add roll a d twenty and add your strength modifier. Did you mean that you're attacking the octopus's face or you're attacking with your face? Yeah, but I like this one better. (laughs) 
Uh, That's what I figured when he, he just he went with it. He didn't answer you. He said, yeah, both options. Uh, so, <laughs> And technically a bite does piercing damage. He's so attacking the octopus's face strength? with his face. What, what did you strength say? modifier. That's an 11. Okay. You try to bite into the octopus, but it's just too slimy in your mouth. And rubbery <laughs> and squishy. <laughs> okay. It's, it's too chewy. Um, you can direct the weasel, though. The weasel's now... All right. Is We're anyone talking. else really yeah, hungry for calamari it. now? Roll Using his face. I'm really hungry, but not for calamari. It's a 19. That's going to hit. Um, I will never be hungry for calamari again. Just trying to find the weasel. Really Neither will I. DM or said that hits. Why? His on, face is about four here. feet away yeah, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. mic. Yeah, can we get a you pause get for roll, the DMs? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, you just get to roll a D2 for damage. So you roll a D4 and have it. Four. I got a four. So that's two, two damage. damage. Okay. I'm glad we used the weasel. Wait, what other things can the weasel do? I left it open. You can have the weasel stat block. It can, it it can wheeze the juice, and it can go to the comedy uh, comedy store. All right, uh, Kira, <laughs> it's your turn. Um, Wait, this says weasel. I have a giant weasel. Oh, you just told me a weasel. No, I said giant weasel. He did say giant 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 weasel. weasel. Oh, well, a giant weasel does more damage. You got to go back to giant. Okay, we'll We can wreck on that that damage in a minute. Okay. Kira, what are you doing? Well, I'm underwater, so I'm assuming I can't cast Cure Wounds. Probably not if it has a verbal component. It does. Okay. But we do have a squirrel. I'm sorry, guys. I'm swimming up for air. Squirrel verbally. Swimming up? I'm sorry, guys. I'm swimming up for air. That's a good call. Okay, it takes an opportunity attack on you as you leave its area, uh, and that's a 22 to hit. I'm floating right now, just unconscious to let you guys know. Um, That's not 22 damage. It hits you. I have one health point. If it hits me, I'm done. Well, that's it. It does six, and you're currently grappled. It's grappling my unconscious form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you guys remember back when Kira used to be part of the party? Man, I miss her. <laughs> the octopus now on its turn. I have not turn, rolled a new character yet. Casts an ink cloud. Um, and Kira all of is a sudden, gone. It makes this kind of dash up uh, and to back and to the left, away from you guys. Um, releases an ink cloud that surrounds about the twenty feet around you uh, in ink and takes off with Kira. Uh, it moves up. It's hard to see. You can't really see exactly how far it moves away. Dern, it's your turn. You saw the general direction the thing moved. Can I swim up out of the ink cloud and then get a better idea of where this thing is? Okay. Make a perception check. Because these are my favorite rolls. Oh, hey, 19. Okay. Um, I get to make a stealth. No. You see it. It's about after your... 15 feet or so that you swim and you just sort of get to the edge of the ink cloud, it's still about 45 feet away from you. Uh, it moved pretty fast. <laughs> um, my crossbow is not going to work underwater, is it? it? It might. It will fire. You'll have to roll at disadvantage. Uh, the, is it... Do you know what the range is on your crossbow? 80 slash 320. Actually, um, it can go its full 80... But you can't, I, I read, it can go its full 80. You can't roll past that at disadvantage anymore. So you can shoot it, and it won't be at disadvantage. Octopus was looking pretty rough after the giant weasel tore a chunk out of it. All right, we're going to do crossbow. So it's a 17. That hits. Okay, so 1d8. Six. Six? Six. So as this thing bursts out of the ink, thinks it's pretty much away, it's just jetting toward, you know, away from you guys um, at full speed with a meal, this crossbow bolt just catches it, just kind of at the end of its range and sticks into it, and it goes limp, and you watch Kira's unconscious body kind of just spiraling around from the way it was spinning. Swim that direction towards her. Um, Aaron, it's your turn. I will swim that way towards her. 
Okay. The octopus is dead, right? So yes. And I'm fa- I'm good at athletics, so yeah. But I'm on a weasel. Weasel and I swim towards her too. No, but I'm it's good at athletics. I'm, I'm good at athletics too. Um. Oh yeah, how good? Calman. I just don't know who's closer. Is the only reason oh, yeah? I mention it. Oh yeah. Calman's struggling a little bit with the this egg. Is, right this now. is not an underwater. <laughs> piss- <laughs> this is not an underwater pissing competition. All right, Grease Wizard, you're swimming full speed. Oh, on the weasel. Okay. You can make an athletics check for the weasel. Aaron, you can make an athletics check. Dern, you can make one. Twelve. Never mind. <laughs> what is... How do I No, wait, I'm proficient. I'm sorry. strength bonus. I'm proficient. Oh, and strength bonus? Athletics is your strength bonus and your proficiency bonus, if you're proficient. Nineteen. Okay. I'm proficient in weasel. No, right, you just get okay. to add 11. the weasel strength. Eleven. Okay, Dern is out distance out distancing you guys by quite a bit. Aren't I just stopped to pee? On Kira, but <laughs> Kira, you need uh, to nice make and warm. a death saving Aaron throw. Aaron just stops in the water and kind of... <laughs> Yay, I'm not dead yet. Okay, that was a success. Yep. Dern, you reach Kira on this turn. Lay on hands. All 20. Or no, how many hit points do you have? 27. All 20. Okay. Kira, you're back up. You only have 27 hit points? <laughs> I only have 28. I have 53. I have 32. And her hit die is higher than yours. Yeah. Okay. You guys um, are so delicate. I have oh. armor. I have an armor class of 19. Kira. I have assless chaps. They're just called um, chaps. I, I was imagining that was all you were wearing when you were sleeping. It so was. that's all you're wearing in this fight. <laughs> Yay. Nobody looked directly at the gnome. <laughs> It, I it usually puts try not to. a little bit of extra light in the area around you from how pale the reflective surface is. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, everybody's conscious, but you're still stuck underwater. You watch Kalman. Am I get still tripping? A good. Um, you get to make. No, no, you don't. Yeah, your intelligence is down by four for the next 24 hours. So you're sort of hallucinating a little bit about the things going on around you. ruh row. Kalman manages to open up and oh, Pac-Man the egg into himself, and now he's swimming up toward the surface. Delightful. I'm going to gonna swim up. Suit. Yeah. yeah. Grab the elf and swim up. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused. As you guys get up to the top, there's no, uh, like, surface... Can you roll a perception check? Are 17. we in the Borg dimension? Nine. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. Sixteen. Sixteen. Fourteen, maybe? Yeah, this doesn't affect your perception. Okay, fourteen. The wisdom. Um, three of you get the idea that you're at the top of, like, a bubble. And if you think back to uh, while you were walking into the city of Albagula and getting the initial tour... Aaron was trailing her hand through, like, this bubble of water around some sea kelp. Uh, with that check, you guys get the idea that you're sort of inside one of those with the pretty thick, like, surface tension. So she was able to get her hand through it when we were... So we, can, can we to, get our Yeah, break heads it up with my axe? It? So Dern's going to try and just, just stick your head up, make an athletics check. 10, 17. Okay, Dern, you get a gulp He's very hard-headed. of water from outside of the... You get, I'm top. sorry. You get a, a gulp, not of water. <laughs> you get a gulp of air. I was about to say, outside. it's a bubble inside of more water. So you people are screwed. You've, you've br- had a good breath. Okay, push the elf's All head right. up through, too. All right, we'll have to try that in a minute. Hold on. Yeah, I'd like to do the same. All right, anybody but who wants to try that, make an athletics check. 20. Nope. You get a gulp Nat of 20. air. You get your whole head is stuck through the top of the bubble with a nat 20. I got a 24. I got a 1. Your not head's a crit one. through the bubble. You I got, got a, a 1, not a crit not one. Not a crit 1. You are not. You're still just You're making up out with it. the bubble. And we have just Can hit I grab his neck? The end of the 30 minute timer. So you're going to have to start making constitution saves very soon if you don't get through. So we're going turn based on okay. just the grease wizard. So we're going to keep this same initiative. I can hold my breath for 30 minutes. Can I grab his neck and, like, yank him up? You can make an athletics check to do that. Right now? Sure. Uh, 17? Um, yeah. 
you're when you, you break do the that, gnome's neck. You pull, <laughs> you pull him up high to risk, the top, high reward. And with him kicking his little gnome feet as much as he possibly can, uh, he gets his head just through the top of the. And the first bubble. thing I say I do is cast alter self and have aquatic aquatic adaption. All right. Um, the first thing I do is curse. Okay. In several languages. You're not through on the top. You came kind of back down. You just got like a gulp, and then it oh. kind of pushed you back around. So, <laughs> <laughs> and Kalman's now just behind you guys. He gets up to the top, and he just kind of shrugs. Hi! <laughs> and his voice is undistorted <laughs> underwater, which is Well, because it's coming unsettling. out of a speaker. <laughs> no, I can't hear anything. My head's above water. Yeah, is my head too? <laughs> yeah. Your head broke see? through. You're kind of stuck. You see the night sky uh, up above you as if you were maybe 40 feet above the roof of the Carapace Inn that you were staying in. Does it look like the whole turtle shell is covered by this bubble or just like our part of town? It looks like just the hotel. Oh, so this cool. is uh, a prank. And kind of a <laughs> maybe of the 40 other or 60... Maybe a hundred foot area around the hotel, plus the other bubbles that were already there. So is maybe this a we prank should swim the down teams? along the surface. About that? Mm-hmm. Wait, In case say that, say that one more maybe time? we should swim down along the edge of the bubble so that when the water breaks, we won't we be forty fall feet. Forty yes. feet. Yeah, that's smart. And flood off someplace. And I'll risk it. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'll go with you guys. Okay, so and you're look just going to swim around the, along the edge? Swim down towards... Okay. Can they swim through, like with their heads above water, down the... Or do they have to pop back under? They're going to have to pop back under. Okay. <gasps> All right, take a deep breath and do that. Um, on here. I forgot I was already in the underwater. Hey, thanks for listening to Date Night Podcast with me, Sam Hausman. If you like the show, we could really use your help to spread the word. Share the show with a friend or a family member who you think might enjoy the story. You can also help us by following us on social media like Twitter at Date Night Podcast. That's D8 Night Podcast. And sharing our posts from there. It's also the best way to follow for giveaways and announcements about the show. Now back to it. So you guys swim down to the bottom. You get down to the ground and sort of settle there. And you can see outside of the bubble, there are a few people standing around um, sort of looking and seeing if anybody's there. I wave. Somebody waves, and somebody sticks his hand through the bubble. Grab it. Okay. Yanks you through the other side. Do I know this person? I make the motion like... When Kira, Kira, when you get out, you see it's Molokono. The uh, turtle who had given you the guy uh, tour. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It just, the the bubble just showed up here, and we came to see if anybody was inside the hotel. You're trying to shove the barbarian through the... I'm not going to go there since I'm already aquatic. Can I, like, swim around to see if I can see anything? Like the origin of it or the source? All right. Um... We'll come back to that in just a minute. I'll see what everybody else is doing while you're doing I'm that. trying to shove the barbarian through the... the yeah, I'm going to try and exit. Okay. Membrane? Well. I don't know what to call it. Yeah. Surface tension. Surface tension. Um, I Bubbly guess bubble. roll an athletics check at advantage, because Arn would be helping you get herself through. Uh, 10, 17. Okay, easy enough. You get her through, like, to the waist, and then she just kind of, like, starts sliding her weight a little bit down the side <laughs> and gloops onto the ground. <laughs> Ugh. All right. <laughs> I'm guessing <laughs> someone's pulling realistic. her from the other side. Helping yeah, her. there's some people sort of gathering around. Okay, I'm going to try to get out myself. Out. All right. It's a one. All right, <laughs> you go up against the thing and just oh. pull back and try to do one Okay, I'm going to stick my hand in and try to grab him to pull him out. All right, he gets back over toward the end. With somebody on the other side, it's easy enough to, okay. to pull uh, Durham <laughs> through. Which is a good thing about <laughs> Waiting to go for that other grenade for your first second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the three of you get out. And where is the aquatic form of the grease wizard and his weasel pal? Where are they heading? Uh, we are going. <laughs> this isn't going to be a G- spinoff comic. <laughs> GW and the weasel. 
Um, the aquatic weasel. So also called I an have otter. A sense of how big the bubble was from. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna try and go <laughs> towards like the center. All right, the center would be the hotel. Yeah, so I'm trying to go like in the hotel, trying to get our stuff. If I... J.K. Rowling, oh, if you're listening, we're offering we're offering licensing here. Uh, <laughs> just kind of do like look and do a little look around in the hotel. Okay, make um, an investigation check. Um, as you're sort of swimming around inside the hotel, you notice that one of the doors into the hallway is broken. There were four rooms on your level, and one of the rooms that isn't yours is broken. Can I go in? Yeah. You go in that room, you want to look around, make a new investigation check. That's 21. Okay. You see a busted out window in that room. And you see some blood scraped on the window and some gear and things floating around or stacked in the corner. What kind of gear? Um, You want to check it out? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, You can roll an investigation check for that, too. 17. All right. You find um, some turtle buck cards. Snatch them up. They're in my pocket. um, You find four of them. And Thief. uh, You probably can't tell exactly how much is on them until you get out and take a look. Uh, but you have four. They have some stuff punched out of them. Um, you find some uh, chainmail armor. You find a warhammer. Okay. And probably about twenty-eight gold pieces. Cool. Do I see any like clues or any or anything? Um, it looks like I guess you could roll an intelligence check based on what you've seen in the room. Twenty. It looks like they, the people inside this room, the team, struggled to get out just like you guys did. Okay. And you just stole all their stuff. And they didn't have any good needs. Um, or a squirt, spell a Paul Wall. <laughs> can I look around any other rooms? or? Can I steal everybody's shit? Sure. So you want to try to get the other two yeah, team I'm rooms? Yeah, I'm just kind of looking through it. All right. So those, you go and check the first door is locked. Is there, oh, in that first room, was there any, like, tell of, like, what that team name was? Um, you don't know which team was staying. You haven't sort of seen which teams are in which rooms. Uh, so the one door is locked. What about the other door? I try and scratch it. See if it opens up. Like Victor? You scratch (laughs) it? No? It's not me! Uh, (laughs) there's, there's, uh, both doors are locked. Okay. Can I try and give me the lock? Yeah, do you have any thieves tools? Oh, I do. I do. He did bring his, all of his stuff, didn't he? That's an 18. Okay, you pop open one of the two rooms. Okay. And you go inside. This room looks like it's... When you saw the the room that you were in, it had a little bit of furnishings in it mm-hmm. on top of, like, the stone. This room looks completely bare. Like, nobody has moved in yet. Okay. So nothing. There's no. So you like, get the idea. This was there was one team that hadn't showed hadn't up shown in town up. yet. The you mint is still on the pillow. There. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That gives it away. All right. I'll check out the other one. All right. You roll a lock uh, pick check on that too. So what is that? Uh, if you're proficient in thieves tools, are you? Mm-hmm. You get to add your dex and your proficiency bonus to those checks. Fifteen. Ooh. All right. That's what you needed to pop the door. So it pops open. Have a look around in this room. 21. Okay. In this room, it doesn't look like anything was disturbed when it got flooded, so it looked like this room was not occupied at the time, but they do have some of their luggage and things in there. What's in it? Um, You can roll one more investigation check. Thief! You little kleptomaniac. Um, Plus 8 plus 7. 15. 15. Okay. You find a two spell scrolls and this is a, this is my sick prank seven gold pieces that's what I got on a d100 okay <laughs> my luck I don't okay. think you can just call theft a prank <laughs> Dude, this is funny I'm taking all their money <laughs> but no like indication of that this was like this is where the bubble originated or anything 
No, you don't get any idea of where that started on that check through the rooms. We're also pretty sure the other team is dead, so it's hard to prank dead people. You're just grave robbing. Oh, oh. Same thing. Okay. Except it's not their grave because they're not there. You're all right, well, dead I guess people robbing. What would you can, call that? As I'm leaving the This the hotel, just in, all more, Egyptologists are just One more, like, pranksters. investigation <laughs> check or maybe arcana <laughs> check to see... How are you leaving? Like, are you going... I, I imagined you the, swam back in through the hole that you guys came through. So like, I'll leave through the lobby. So right, you're going to go down the stairs. Secretly chuckling under the yeah. breath. Yeah. <laughs> didn't come go down the lobby. How long does your altar self last? Let's all go uh, to the lobby. It's an hour. I all think right, it's an hour as well. Uh, you should Let's be fine, all go though. to the lobby. I honestly have no idea, but I'm going to say it's an hour as well. I th- it probably is. I can double Let's check, Let's all though. go to the lobby. Ooh, we can name the scroll um, Rodney instead, like I've always called all the road Rodneys. Do you know if the spell is an hour? If so, ha- tweet us at Tweet at us real quick. <laughs> at, right at now. At D8 Night Podcast. Yeah, uh, to an hour. Too late. Okay. You've probably been right looking now, around load for until 30 <laughs> minutes. Year. Engagements, engagement. Right. <laughs> yeah. You get down to the lobby. Uh, you can make an investigation the check there. Let's all go to the lobby. 20. Okay. Not Nat, though. You see a cart with some bags on it. Um, you see the... It's in the bags. This isn't even other teams. You're you just stealing shit from people. <laughs> a, uh, the one guy who was behind the lobby desk looks like uh, he's stuck, like, underneath the... Um, a locker that fell down on top Oh, of I him. go save him. Okay, you walk over. He's laying there underneath, like, a locker, pinning him to the ground. Is I'll he a turtle-born? No. But first, I'm going to pat him down to see if he has anything valuable in his pockets. <laughs> no, this is me being good. Um, do one bad first thing, First they're sour, then they're sweet. All right, so I'm going to he- try and help. Uh, this is a dragon-born, you see, by the way. I'm going to shout out, push... He's not moving. Okay, well, I got a uh, two minus one on strength. <laughs> the locker just is not budging. Is he dead? Not is that I'm dead? there. That's, I guess, investigation again. 18 plus seven. Okay, looking at him and figuring you've been under here for half an hour in your aquatic form, the idea, even though he's a dragonborn, he might have a little bit of constitution that he could handle it, but there's no he, way he's, he's still alive. I scream. Um, Murlocs? So, so it just looked like the locker landed on him, though. It didn't look like... Okay. Looked like a set of, like, lockers behind the counter fell down and crushed him and pinned him down there. That's sad. I won't loot him. But what's in the bags? <laughs> <laughs> One more investigation check. There was a glimmer. Eleven? 11? Mm-hmm. Okay. You start looking through the bags, and you can't find anything. It's just clothes, and then something really interesting catches your eye that just has this glint, and all of a sudden, the pull of this water rushing just yanks you out of the room as the bubble starts collapsing around you. Okay. And we're going to go back to see what your group mates were doing for the past half hour while you were in there <laughs> checking it out. All right? So you guys had got out of the bubble, and there was a small crowd around you. There's... Wow, you guys look really some weird. Some <laughs> <laughs> There's just some guards who are, like, turtle-born, who are kind of shaking their heads, and they're starting to, like, poke spears through the edge of this thing and, and like, raking them along, and you see them trying to, like, get rid of it. And Molokono says, these usually can't be just pierced and cut. They're usually cast for a specific amount of time to keep things you know, safe inside. Well, they haven't met us before. There was a bloody big octopus in there. Well, that's not the mistake. That that had to have happened on purpose. What kind of freaking pranks do you people carry on around here with? Uh, Is that a sentence? And you (laughs) hear a snicker from over your shoulder when you say that, and you turn around, and standing there is a seven-foot-tall lizard man with a big wood buckler with metal I'm sorry, a big wood it. butler? Buckler. What's like a that? Shield. Like a round arm. shield. 
with like a it's like a targe. <laughs> That's not gonna yeah. help if you don't know buckler. But it's got like this these iron bands, like four iron bands, and then like a bulging piece of iron. It's a shield. Bulge. Okay. And <clears throat> he says, oh, "That was j- 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 that's j- 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 oh how unfortunate." <gasps> Is it scaly? Um, roll a intelligence check it with your minus four. This guy is a cartoon character. Like, you've never <laughs> seen a cartoon before in your life, but you've seen people draw sketches, and uh, you think he's not real. He just came out of a book. He's so cool looking. Do you see it? Isn't he cool looking? Shh, shh, shh. Like, what do you think? You're laughing, not scaly. That's just an insult. No, I'm not actually thinking it's his. Okay. And just to be clear, that's a racial slur. Not that I think that's your name. <laughs> I <laughs> and... <laughs> Oh, you just, 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 you're, just, 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 just you're, you're very wet. I want to pull out the other grenades. You want to go? <laughs> okay. Guys, he looks like he was drawn. Guards. Right there. wild. And he just says, oh, my stuff was in there, too. That doesn't mean you're not the one who cast it for stutters and giggles over here. Sorry, he gets cranky when he's tired. And almost tries to be killed. That happens like every day. And I always get angry, don't I? That does explain a lot I need about a your freaking general... freaking beer! does explain a lot about your general temperament. I Bad stuff happens. Can't you just draw <laughs> new stuff? What's wrong with the elf? I she think... got bit by a freaking octopus and she's been tripping balls ever since. <laughs> <laughs> And he just laughs and turns around and walks away with a, a knoll. I really hope he's in the games because I want to kill that one. I don't think what is he's he walking responsible. With? What now? I don't think he's responsible. I don't care anymore. He pissed me off. Okay. That was a strange thing he walked off. Has What's that bubble, creature? Has yes, the bubble popped yet? Pats no, you guys have head. just got out. <laughs> this oh, has okay. maybe taken three or four minutes, and it's about a half hour or 40 minutes before the bubble bursts. I okay, so I guess I'm going to look again. at the person who works here, lives here, yeah, and say, like, so... What the F? When are we going to get to go back to sleep? Um, yes, the... I can show you to some new rooms. The only places we have available are the um, uh, the barnacles and the jellyfishers wharf. Are they airtight? Hmm. What? <laughs> I almost drowned. I don't want another oh. room that's going to fill with water. Well, I, I think any room underwater would fill with water, but they're better than being outside. And you hear one of the other... I don't know. Outside has air. Um, the guard talking to the other... The lizard man and the null. Can you roll a perception check hearing anybody who's over there? Nat 20. Not nat 20. You just nice. hear... Okay. Wait, no. I'm above that. 21. Something. Yeah, okay. 40. No. All right. Kira and Dern, you hear them talking and you just hear the... Uh, lizard guys say that they have other uh, accommodations. They won't be needing to stay in the um, jellyfishers' hovels. Our sp- p- 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 our sp- p- 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 uh, the guy who gave us money for the games is uh, we're shacking up with him. Oh, Bob Chicka Bow Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Hot lizard on turtle porn action. <laughs> No! <laughs> the other spinoff comic. <laughs> There's the Grease Wizard and his weasel. <laughs> and then... Whoever wrote Fifty Shades of Grey, if you're listening, we're waiting for licensing. <laughs> Fifty scales of green. You also see, after standing around for a little bit... Um, <laughs> Eve is just dead over a group here. Of, I almost uh, was. People who are obviously sailors come back uh, well, hey, sailor. <laughs> not here. And they look very drunk. <laughs> and they're looking at the bubble around the hotel like, is this where we're supposed to stay? Uh, g- 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 do, do you have, have any, any spinach? Beer? <laughs> <laughs> and 
and one of the sailors looks over at you and sees how you're soaking wet after having just come out of the thing and your beard is just soggy. A wet dwarf is a bad look overall. I think you saw some jellyfish in your face (laughs) over there. Um, But he just kind of says... You need something stronger than beer, and he hands oh, I a, like a flask, and he just says, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes the edge off just a little bit. Um, one of the guards comes up to you and says, uh, would you like me to show you to someplace else you could finish resting tonight? I'm very sorry for the inconvenience. I'm sure inconvenience. that whoever did this will be Actually, caught and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I, Did I'd you like just a wink? Huh? Did you just wink? No. Do you just wink again? <laughs> <laughs> Still no. I have... It's so dry up here <laughs> on land. Like, whenever we come up on land, I get, like, so many sinus problems and my eyes get itchy. Listen, do they sell invitations to that execution? Because I want to be in attendance. Um... If it's an execution, it'll be public at the Temple of the Tail, but we don't usually execute too much. Rubs his hands gleefully. Um, Actually, one of our teammates is still in there. Oh, well, he's got to be dead by now. No, he breathes water. I think he's fine. And around that time, (laughs) you watch the bubble just split and sort of riding on top of a suitcase, (laughs) surfing style, comes the grease wizard in the quad. He, like, flies past (laughs) us as we're saying this. (laughs) Wouldn't that be a significant oh. amount of water that we're all going to be dealing with? Yep. Like, do we have to roll constitution <laughs> checks? No, strength checks. Oh. Can what I about dex checks to grab imagining... onto a light pole or you something? You can roll a um, dexterity check if you're still surfing. I'm imagining it's like one of those things at a water park that's like a bucket that fills up and then it splashes down on all the kids. 14. You're well, surfing. Does it look cool? It looks pretty cool. 11. Right, 14. What this kind of strength is this? Okay. Strength. Oh, okay. Strength I'm gone. saving throw. 22. So you get to add your proficiency if you're proficient in that. Yeah, 11. 22. 22. All right. Aaron just... Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> I'm already wet, so what's the difference? <laughs> Eight. Aaron, you slide a little ways down uh, kind of one of the paths and smack into a building, uh, but nothing too major. You swim a little bit. Can I grab the elf? Uh, you can make a dex check to see if you she's, can grab her. As she's, she's still tripping balls over there. Yeah, that's a five. Yeah, you'd reach out to try and grab her. And I try. she gets whooshed away. I'm, like, swimming intentionally that's at this point. That's my favorite the, uh, Studio Ghibli movie. Whooshed? <laughs> whooshed away? <laughs> <laughs> um, Kira, you look around, and you are in the middle. Oh, just please roll a perception check at disadvantage while you're tripping. Six. Any any perception bonuses here? So eight. There are a bunch mark. of weird little creatures, and you're pretty sure they want to kill you. You're not really sure what they are, but they're only about the size of a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Almanita. Run, lass. Let's play soccer. Okay. So you go over to kick them. If they're roll coming a, at me, then I'm going to kick at them. Roll yeah. an unarmed strike. You roll a d20 and add your strength bonus. 11. Okay. You kick one of them, and it goes flying Whee! into when you look up, you see just a sea of faces looking at you, and they're laughing. And That's it's a bad trip. And it does <laughs> not feel nice. No, it's not friendly. Like it's, It feels like a dream where a bunch of people are laughing at you, and you're just... Can't, you're naked in Someone front of them or something. Someone should go get her. I mean, you're standing. I'm, I'm going to try and kick it. another one. Okay. <laughs> can I, I rolled a one. Can I see what she's actually doing? You're going to head over that yeah, way? Yeah, over me that. too. So you guys head over in the direction where Kira got washed away, and you see that she's in the middle of the snail racing track. <laughs> 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 and there are all... I mean... You guys hadn't been to the snail races, but this isn't like NASCAR where there's like 40 cars. There's about 400 snails in this track. <laughs> All the children Even watching. though this is the late race and the stands are fairly empty, but everybody is just roaring in laughter as this elf is kicking snails out of the snail <laughs> racing track and just stepped on one, slipped, and pratfalled on her butt. <laughs> <laughs> 
And she's currently, you see a couple what? of turtle born guards heading in her direction to try and get her off oh, the Oh, wait, she's with us. We'll get her. We'll take her. Okay, roll a persuasion check. My specialty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, uh, 19. Okay. Okay, but um, your friends really shouldn't come on the snail track and stomp on things because that was somebody's pet snail and they spent a lot of money. Well, not much, but they were raising <laughs> it and training it to try and race. So no, yeah, maybe totally. next time, don't do that. Um, yeah, she's just octopus high. She's not usually like there's this. There's usually like a fine if you kill octopus somebody style. else's like a snail. Normal everyday thing. So I should probably like write you a ticket or something. Listen here, seasonal yeah, Steve. We're taking her, and that's the why end. Why are you guys isn't, so wet? Isn't that just more paperwork for you, though? Like, we'll just take her. We'll just get out of your hair. Let's just take her and move. Okay. It's late. Yeah. Okay. Why is the moon a snail? Fine. Just there was a lot of water and stuff too. We're Some of them gone, got washed so. away. Uh, all right, maybe we <laughs> could get a drink later. <laughs> <laughs> guys, why is why does the moon look like a snail going across? That's really cool. Its shell is doing like, all these really cool colors, it's just and a it's snail like snail crawling across your eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> I was ground. looking at the moon too. I just want to pop that off your yeah. face. Yes, last. Whoa, yes. Very where'd nice. the moon go, <laughs> guys? <laughs> where's the moon? Oh, we're gonna go find it now, dearie. Does anyone have like a sleep spell so she can sleep this off? <laughs> I should use my banish Justin, just banish Justin, just continue screwing with her. <laughs> Can I have that snail, Dern? No, you already have one. Yes. <gasps> Don't give it to him. He already has one. Calum Two it. Garys. Are you going to walk it? Huh? Are you going to feed that snail? Yeah, of course. You're going to take care of that snail every day and I'm not going to have to pick up its snail poop? I don't think so. <sighs> Fine. Oh, we, boy. We have bigger issues right now. <laughs> Whoa, you look like this weird little yellow guy that goes around eating dots. That's me. Yeah, you should be called like Pac-Man. You oh, need no, to she, you need to the, watch. The <laughs> watch out for blue ghosts. Have I caught up with the rest of the party? Yeah, you would have surfed on out and I guess they passed with you his pockets on the full. way toward the snail trap. Was I was I on the suitcase that had the shiny object in it? No, oh. it was just one of the ones with the clothes in it. Okay. Is his weasel still there, or is it gone? Uh, I think he's got <laughs> his weasel for another half hour or so. Yeah. Those weasels just skittering around behind him, like shaking off the water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I riding. I come up with anything. I'm just right. laughing too hard about how I should so come up with something. a guard kind of followed you guys, <laughs> I guess, as you went to go get Kira. It's like, they have uh, weasels here? Do you want here? me to take you to the... You got your friends now. <clears throat> you look weird. Are you, you Are you still aquatic? We look weird? Yes. You look really strange. But I can take it off now. Okay. He watches me as my gills start going into my neck and flattening out, and my fingers lose their webbing. You're just a natural freak show, aren't you? I didn't know gnomes could do that. Oh, well. Come on, guys. We, we need our, our things, the rest of our things from our old room, including pants. <laughs> That's right. I am not wearing, I'm only wearing assless chaps right now. Okay. Why does oh, he look so strange? Uh, last, none fetch, of us know that answer. Your eyes are really weird you looking. You or Can we get, maybe get him some pants quickly? Oh, I've got some right here. Look. And I dig through the suitcase, and do I find some pants? Some some gnome, gnome pants size uh, pants? Roll a d20, just straight up. Cr crit fail. You find a dress. <laughs> <laughs> There's some lacy panties in there. <laughs> <laughs> just fish that stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I put them on. On top of your chaps. Below. <laughs> Below your chest. So you okay. take off the chest? Okay. I guess it, it's like a full body fishnet stocking. So that, I was oh, I was ra I was raised in the temple. I'm not okay with this. <laughs> it's just temporary till we get to our How do they back. help? This is actually, in any way. It covers up a little. No, it's it actually much worse. Not the applicable parts we're no, talking not about. The applicable parts, but it, you can't argue it does come cover up a little bit. Um, your weasel's stuck in one of the fish traps. <laughs> oh. He 
doesn't know. Now I can't the decide. the first time the Grease Wizard is speechless. Now I can't decide which term I want to use more. Your weasel or your applicable parts. <laughs> Thanks for sharing our date night with us and exploring a whole new world together. We'll see you again in two weeks. Until then, keep in touch by following us on Twitter and Facebook at Date Night Podcast or visiting datenightpodcast.com.